I'm gonna walk you through a simple game plan to cook all sorts of main dishes and sides. Just combine any jewel cooked meat or seafood with a quick vegetable puree and a nice fresh salad. You'll never run out of ideas and dinner will always come out amazing. Ready? Calling all chicken lovers. Today, I'm gonna be showing you the best technique I know for making incredibly juicy, insanely golden, crispy skinned chicken thighs. Thighs are one of my favorite cut of chicken because they're super inexpensive and packed full of flavor. But I bet you didn't know how juicy and how crispy they could be until today. And we're gonna cook them sous vide with Jewel. Plus, I've got a great trick for you to get all the skin super crispy, no more chewy skin. This technique is perfect for weeknights, or any night really. And with thighs, all you have to do is prep them, drop them in with Jewel, and walk away while they cook. The water never gets any hotter than the temperature we want the chicken to cook to, so there's no risk of overcooking. While your thighs are getting juicy with Jewel, you can relax and make some simple sides. And in the end, plate it all up, and you have a beautiful weeknight dinner that you're proud to serve to your friends and family. Ready? Let's make some juicy chicken thighs. The first thing we're gonna do is use visual doneness to select our temperature. You can cook your thighs so they're sort of steak-like or really tender, like a braise. I'm setting mine to 167 Fahrenheit. Looks super juicy. Now, let's prep the chicken. There's someone jackhammering right now, so you might hear some da 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 That's a jackhammer. We're gonna continue anyways. First thing we're gonna do is get the bones out of our chicken thighs. We just have to take our thighs, lay them on their backs, cut out that one bone. So, why are we taking the bone out? The chicken's gonna cook faster and more evenly. If you've ever had a chicken thigh that was like, you know, a little bloody by the bone, that's not gonna happen here. It's gonna be even all the way through. From here, we're gonna pound the skin. The pounding of it is also gonna help you get a really nice, even, golden, crusty skin. Now that our thighs are prepped, we're just gonna hit them with a little salt and pepper. We're gonna pop them in a Ziploc style bag. I'm gonna do two per bag, because I want them to be nice and flat. A little bit of oil. Drop it in Jewel. These cook for 45 minutes, so in the meantime, I'm gonna pour myself a little wine and whip up a yam puree. I'm gonna grab my yams, gonna give them a peel, put them in a pot with lid, crank it up on high, and boil them. From there, pop it in a blender, blend it till smooth. Pour the puree right back in the pot and just keep that pot on the lowest temperature on your stove, and that's it. It'll be there waiting for you when you're ready. After that, I'm gonna get going on the kale salad. So I'm gonna shred up the kale, dress it up, shave some cheese, a little bit of olive oil, and that's it. It's just hanging out and ready to plate up. Da, 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 Stop it! <laughs> Bing! So Jewel told me the chicken's done. So check it out. These suckers are juicy. So we're gonna quickly sear the skin to get it nice and crispy. Just make sure your non-stick pan is about medium high heat. Here's how you can tell. Get a little drop of water. Boop. You want it to sizzle. Ready. Just lay the chicken thighs skin side down. You know they're cooked just the way you want on the inside. Here, this is all about finishing them until they look good. You can see a lot of fat and a lot of oil coming out of the skin. That's a good thing. You're getting crispy. Remember when we started with no oil? Look at that, it looks so good. It's plate up time. No stress. Give it a little push a -roo. All right, check this stuff out. Mmm. Dang! That looks so good. Use this simple game plan to cook all sorts of main dishes and sides. Just combine any jewel cooked protein with a quick vegetable puree and a salad. You'll never run out of ideas and dinner will always come out amazing. For more amazing dinner ideas, check out chefseps.com. We have so many recipes and techniques to help you kill it at weeknight dinners. And while you're there, order yourself a jewel and get cooking. I think we just need to own it, guys. We've got a jackhammer. I'm gonna bring a meat mallet to this jackhammer fight. Root for the underdog, chefsups.com.